My name is Natasha Vlasenko. I'm head of piano at Quiz and Conservatory in Griffith University. And together with Oleg Stepanov, artistic director of the Lev Vlasenko Piano Competition and Festival. Well, we started it in uh, 99, so this year is actually 20 years since we um, created this event. The idea behind it was to help young Australian pianists and to give them authority and confidence to compete internationally. Because in the past, um, we felt uh, in this country, uh, there was a lot of talent, um, but uh, not enough challenge for them. I'm Diana Alvaro. I'm on the board of the Lev Lysenko Piano Competition, and I have been for almost 20 years. We've been absolutely thrilled listening backstage. The standard has gone through the roof. It's fantastic. In addition to $65,000 worth of prize money, we also uh, give performance opportunities to the artists. Uh, one is, for example, uh, to perform with the Queensland Symphony Orchestra, another to perform with the Queensland Pops Orchestra, uh, and there are others. So these things are so invaluable and they give the artist a, a chance, they give them exposure uh, and a platform. And I'm so grateful that I'm involved in this because it's such a ride, it's fantastic. The Love Los Angeles Piano Competition, it's really important. It's given me lots of opportunities to perform for an appreciative audience in the venues at the Conservatorium. And I think it's really important as preparation for other competitions or just performing in general. Um, the Leather Singer Competition is great for actually quite a number of reasons. It's very exciting to be able to travel from Sydney and meet everyone else from all around Australia, um, like like-minded people and also people who play in very different styles to me. It's great, of course, for myself to be able to play in um, recitals in these lovely venues on these lovely instruments. The Left Lysenko Piano Competition I think is a fantastic opportunity just for young uh, aspiring piano players in Australia to have uh, this opportunity to really uh, build on themselves and this opportunity to become better piano players um, because in Australia there really isn't that much in terms of competitions out there you know being a part of this competition uh, really elevates all of us and inspires us to you know become better musicians and better piano players all these things are so vital because they need to be heard if they're to project and improve their careers and their presence in the in the piano world they need to have performance opportunities and it, uh, one of the greatest privileges of course is playing with the orchestra many scholarships were around but some of them didn't even involve any piano playing and then you end up uh, winning it you go overseas someone to the place like london uh, just to feel terribly uh, depressed because uh, realizing that you're so much below the expected standard it doesn't do any good to young people. My father had this idea. He loved Australia, he loved the country, and he felt uh, that there's a lot of potential in, in young people, but he said this talent has to be organized. Well, it's great to have Yamaha on board for this competition and festival. It's a wonderful instrument. We had very good feedback from contestants uh, who played um, particularly in the theatre. I had the chance to travel to Hamamatsu with uh, Cameron Tate uh, and select uh, the instrument for our recital hall. For this competition, we have two Yamaha CFX concert grand pianos being used in the competition rounds, as well as the grand final being performed with the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. I'm on site 12 to 14 hours a day looking after the piano and the tuning. Preparing a piano for a competition, the goal is to make it sound and feel as good as possible for the entire duration. So you have to be there and you have to work on the piano a lot. It needs to be at peak performance to allow the competitors to perform properly. And so tuning wise, you're on site for the whole competition to make sure it's perfectly in tune and stable the whole time. You have to regulate the mechanism, voice the hammers, get everything as consistent as possible. As a piano technician, it's great. It allows me to do my best work, work on the best instruments and make them sound their best. The 
I think it's vital that the competition continues because I think it's, it's uh, achieved its objective, which Lev Lysenko thought of in the first place, that they would be able to play to such a high standard that they're able to launch themselves into the international uh, arena. I just feel that we are now in a totally different world and I hope that um, this event contributed into the standards of piano playing in this country and I think it's helpful for um, young people, it's also helpful for teachers because they develop through, throughout that process of preparation students to such you know demanding events uh, and it just makes life more interesting. <laughs>